Non, mais il y a des gens qui ont Imagine being insulted on your own podcast. I'm not insulting you. People come here you the and they think they can talk to you the way they want because they're Kikuyu presenters. <laughs> Anyway, guys, this is the POV podcast with me, Kate Shiro. Of course, we are at the Tweeva Studios. I am dressed by label 15, makeup by Nzula. And if you didn't know my name, it's Kate Shiro. This is yet another episode. And of course, we kick it off with an amazing woman who has given us her journey of life, getting into the industry and finding her voice in Kikuyu Radio. Auntie Jemima. Yes. Ewa gari wa How are you? I'm fine, thank you. How are you? I'm well. Thank you for having me. I've seen you with these dreadlocks this year in Kashindo and Nikuita Sister Dread. I need to do Mama Africa. Mama Africa? Yes. That's your vibe. Yes. <laughs> I like that. Thank you. So, but most people know you as Auntie Jemima. Auntie Jemima, yes. But your name is actually Wangari Nguri. Masi Kwaja. Yes. Masi. Jemima, you know, I assumed it's Jemima Wangari. Everyone does. Why Jemima? Uh, because when I was in college, mm. There was a friend whose her mom is called Jemima, mm-hmm. and I found it very interesting because you don't find a lot of Jemimas. I only know of Jemima Thiongo. Mm. So that day when she told She's me my mom, yes, yes, that day when she told me my mom is called Jemima, I was like, ah, da kwana kuita kaidi tu kajemi, kajemima. So the, the the when I was doing my first video, yeah. when I was doing the keki anti anti wa keki video, that was the first thing that clicked. <laughs> so we call her Auntie Jemima. Auntie Jemima. People told me it's a nice name. Stick. Let me tell you, you publicize the cake matron thing. <laughs> if you never saw the video for the cake matron, yeah. and come on, Jay, if you've not, but I think it's mostly in Kikuyu celebrations. Yes, I don't know. Yes. If in other celebrations, Mutuambe kama mnafanyanga, mm. Kisi, Kisumu, whatever, Luo. or Luo, mm. ama kule mejikenda tuambie. Because in, in most celebrations, keki hiko. Ule mama anakuja pale, yeh ndiyo matron. Hey, How do you have riches? a matron for a cake? Do you know people it's actually cake. call me mm. to offer cake matron services today? And I told them I don't. I only MC. So they unless it's that the is whole gig. Yes, unless it's the whole gig. Because what's the point of just paying me to just do the kick cutting? Ah, nangi. Natakanga yiku chachisha rusiote. Yeah. Siwa kuka patika dogo tu. The way they glamorize. Keki imejengwa, imekwa na uga. Imepiko. Hii karapapo inarepresent. Zira vitu mtapitia beautiful. Guy. Hii patgumu ni zire hardship za raifu. Ah. Alafu inafati wangu. Lakini Dani ni utamu. Dani ni utamu. Marriage ni utamu. Amen. Na hawajuagi kizugu. <laughs> and they choose the richest. Mm. Yeah. Oh, the auntie who looks yes. like Money. she made it. Yeah. She came with an extra ale. Haria. Like a haria like that. Mm. Yeah. She knows she has, she's, she probably has a little something, but she doesn't even know how to go mm-hmm. to Gmail. And her kids study abroad. Yeah. yeah. My son. My husband and her hardware. <laughs> I felt like as soon as you came out mm-hmm. as Auntie Jemima, yeah. you were you're really open with speaking Kikuyu because mm-hmm. In this country, we really what to people are not so open in speaking their language. Yeah. 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 But you don't know how to do it. But you came out and you pushed Kikuyu comedy in a very different direction that mm-hmm. we hadn't seen. Mm-hmm. Because for me, Kikuyu comedy, I, I grew up watching the Ngidia, mm-hmm. Gehenjo, things like that. Most like Kikuyu comedians. Yeah. So, and it was very at home. That was mm-hmm. Kikuyu comedy. I mm-hmm. wouldn't even explain it to people when I go to school. Yeah. Because I don't know Ah, yeah. But you made. Kikuyu comedy seems so palatable to mm-hmm. all my even anyone who does not know Kikuyu yes. as much yes. would consume it. Oh, thank you. How, who made you take this leap of faith that shooting these videos? Uh, so I studied accounts. Okay. It's a very boring profession. Eh. No offense to all accountants, <laughs> but I don't fit there. Yeah. But it was because when I did uh, my KCSE, mm. I really wanted to do theater arts and I was very positive. And mm. I told my dad, I want to do theater arts. Uh, at that time, we could not afford uh, campus fee. Mm. So when I finished hi- high school, I went to Kenya National Theatre. Up on Dokila Msani Wanza. Yeah. Most of us started there. Pale KBC, pale. Yes. Mm-hmm. Nikaanza kufanya set books. So to rehearse for about two, three months. Yeah. Tulikuwa tunarihasi aboretum. Mm. What? Tuenda kutunachapa rehearsals. Mm-hmm. Mwisho wa kosa, coming to bath. Then we started now doing the shows. It was traveling theatre. Mm. Unfortunately, we were not paid. Why? Producer ali hepa na pesa. Alienda nayo. Kanairo. Hey, Kanairo, so hata kama we ni mzazi utafanya nini, iyo si kazi. Mm-hmm. So that's what my dad told me, iyo si, si kazi. Iyo si kazi, hey. na mlipui. Three months, ni mekupefea daily, 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 umenda ujapata anything. Ni ya nini. Ni ya nini. Mm. So that is how I ended up in accounts. Mm. So haka nilipia shule, nikena nikafanya accounts. Mm. And I got my first job. Nikafanya, nikafanya. But every time you're in the office, you're making people happy, you're making people laugh. And they kept telling me you're in the wrong career. And I kept telling them, I know. 
Which office is this you're working at at this time? I worked at an um, institute for criminal justice, Equipa City Hall Annex. Hiya. Yes. <laughs> I was the assistant. No, <laughs> Makarao. Oh. They were in criminal justice. Is only the, the cops. Mm. So I would tell them. Who Hey, na form na 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 colleagues. When I'm in the wrong career, I'm in the ni time bado. Then I left. I worked there for about two years, and then I left. I went to Westlands, to Amuindi. Alikuwa akona agency ya kupeleka watu Australia students. Mm-hmm. So uko, there, there was a lot of time because we used to start working at nine, nine to five. Yes. So unona, alafu wakuna workload, uko kulikuwa na workload. Mm-hmm. So uko wakukuwa na workload. Yeah. So mini mekapo ni meboeka, I really wanted someone to remove me from accounts. Okay. And then, so digital likuwa imeanza kukrip in. Yes. Likuwa imeanza pole pole ndo jugusha likuwa meshika line kabisa. Yes. So I said, let me do a video and post it out there. Mm. Ah, kama mbaya mbaya. So I did the first video ilikuwa about the week you men ask for sex. Mm-hmm. Like ni kama kitu ananunua. Hebu tukumbushe wana itanga aje mimi sijui. Ukaheri. <laughs> How do you meet a, a, a baby girl on the bar? Utanipea bar-bar. lini? Eh, utanipea lini? Kitu ulisema unanipea lini. Na I'm like romantic size. Wanichakula. Romantic size bana. Anyway, uh uh-huh. So ako ni kafa, alafu nilikuwa naogopa. Yeah. It's the first time. So sauti ilikuwa chini, but it was very interesting because people shared it a lot. Yeah. Ah uh, so ilipata a good share of, of the sharing mm. but sasa nikapata bado kuna trolling ilikuja mingi sana. Oh no, kwani? Yeah. Cuz now the bloggers ah uh, they shared it wakasema it is an angry kikuyu woman teaching men how to ask for sex. And then now they choose a photo where you don't look so good, you don't look your best. Yeah, kwanza <laughs> mapua ilikuwa imejaa hapo. <laughs> Hey, Kuna mtu alitukana na mapua yangu by this jisa. Na waache, kwa na wazao si ni wa Africa you tunataka know. hivi. Ah. Uh, mm. So hiyo ika vile nilitukana nikasema hey kwa nini industry nataka kuingia inakaaje but you still watu wana share nikaogopa oh. see the thing is we are i think we are wired to mostly pick the wrong or the bad vibe and then not concentrate on the because good because it's work. a little louder yeah because there are very few people who do this yes thank you yeah. and they don't do it as loudly as these ones who which they should they should actually they should mm. Mm. So nikaenda chini kiasi then in September ndo nikaenda harusi mm. niko na huyo auntie wa keki vile alichocha mm. nikasema the other one was a bit controversial yeah. let me do this one this one is funny hii haina nini yoyote so i went home nika set camera kwa dirisha nika shoot haraka haraka madhe alikuwa church na nikaiwekelea mm. and that was how auntie jemima was born wow and let me tell you when i shared that people told me we looked for you after the first video but we couldn't even hear your name Ah, ukusema kwa video ya kwanza. Nilisema but hawakusikia. Alafu unajua unasema haraka haraka. Ndio ishe haraka ni ile kazi zingine. <laughs> so that was how Auntie was born. Wow. And I I I've loved the journey because after that I was able to even say bye bye to accounts. Mm. Kwa sababu I did that in September 2016. Mm. Towards December I had um I had weddings nilikuwa nime zimepanga line hivi. Wow. No wait, that was no December. I did it for a whole year. Mm. Don't nianze kupata gigs. Mm. For a whole year ndio nikaanza kupata gig so i quit accounts a year later mwaka nzima unapanda mbegu yes actually na kumkaribu mbegu ya quit. social media kuna mahari nilisema sifanye hizi vitu tena sipati endorsements kwa sababu nafanya na kikuyu Mm, yeah. yes. that's a, that's a, that's a scare. Yes it was. Yes. A big scare. And I remember my friend Jeff Kuria of Inor is one who mentored me. Yeah. Alikuwa ananiambia unajua na kisa ile kisauti yake. Fanya video wewe. Weka video tiga kiria. Besha ni go. Kwanza ana ni kama anakukomania. Anakukomania. Anakuanga hivyo. Na wewe ukimenda mtu unakuwa mpo right. <laughs> Hi Jeff. <laughs> but I'm glad I didn't give up. Yeah. Yeah because That's, of money kills. It's really good and you know mm. people even other people can see your light. Wewe uko pale kwa criminal justice. Yes. Watu wanakuambia ufai kwa hapa. Hey. People can see your light. But sometimes people can. Sometimes wewe mwenyewe uko until also until people can and until you're ready to also uh show your light mm. sangine unaweza kaa sana mm. eh unaweza kaa but muski za sana yeah i listen to not everyone yeah there are people who tell me things and i take it very seriously yeah yeah I like that. Mm. And I'm so glad that you were able to land on your feet. Thank you. You've really made Kikuyu comedy very co- consumable. But there's something I love more about um about Auntie Jemima. Yeah. She gave birth to many other young artists oh. because Auntie Jemima is not by herself. She yes. has children. I have children. I have nephews. Godo. Is the one who's called Godo. <laughs> Naomi. I know Godo very much. Yes. Naomi. There is Kilonzo. Kilonzo. Wa kijana wangu wa kazi. Mm? There is MMG. MMG. There is uh, there was Wajiro, me. There is Kate Rira. 
you 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 brought so many kids with you and that's yes. something very tough to see a lot of people in the industry because wanataka ukule keki peke yako yeah keki ni kidogo but you, when you see auntie jamal because she's come out as this auntie mm-hmm. we're talking about a, a comedic character that mm-hmm. has given birth to so many other people yes, yes. she has relatives and mm-hmm. all these people mm-hmm. how did this how did this family come together we so when i started i was doing it alone yeah and then i thought it will be more relatable and it will bring life when you bring someone else mm. so when i moved out now after i moved out mm. i met wajiro kwa matatu mm. akanikanyaga watu wa batagoma hiyo time nilikuwa navaa batagoma za white hata <laughs> sai <laughs> sai nimepanda bei kidogo uh, yo sai anavaa adidas but bado ni white made. yeah la bado ni mm, white so akanikanyaga akana oh sorry 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 nikambe it's okay akanambia oh by the way your auntie jemima nikamwambia yeah mm. akanambia i love your shows so i had moved to their area mm. akanambia by the way nikamwambia by the way i'm new here and mm. i'm not good at making friends because i'm super introverted mm. akana nikamwambia can we be friends at least ni kwenda jua mtu ananionyesha around akanambia mm. yeah i'd love to yeah so tukaanza kutembeleana ni nini ananionyesha area then sometimes tuko kwangu tumekaa nikamwambia by the way would you like to feature in the nini yeah i'd love to a mind i have mind mm. nikamwambia to, to try ukiwa dota yangu because okay. nilikuwa na lines mingi sana mm. za madhe na mtoi wake mm. but unless there is someone else because hii sasa kufanya ni kama unapiga simu peke yako haikuwa na nini sana haikuwa yeah. na leta life yeah. so we tried and we did our first one and then people received her so warmly because she alikuja nako ka character comes chana mnaiva na gopa mama ke ni nini and it yeah. did so well mm-hmm. so sasa tukaanza kuingiza now we can bring akikuyu homestead has kuna kijana wa kazi yes. so let's look for someone who can bring in this cow accent yeah. so i looked for someone and desagu hooked me up with kilonzo now yeah. his name is mc piento anafanya yeah. kazi nzuri sana ya ku mc yeah. na pia anafanya youtube channel yake mm. then kidogo kidogo covid came we were not able to shoot again with wanjiro mm. then there's this cowboy who's nagging me on whatsapp sending me his videos yeah. nikamwambia kuja auditions na ifa godo tufanye tuone godo makes me laugh <sighs> Alikuja mpaka na lines zangu. Aya. Uh, yeah. Ameniletea lines. That's nice. So bringing more people is it was to bring more life. Mm. And in Kikuyu we say adoni oido. You I cannot grow alone yesterday. You yeah. know, you yeah. cannot grow alone. Mm. And I like what Judy Nyawera was saying the other day that growing alone is not is not fun. Hey, me have grown alone. You've grown alone. And it's not because I wanted to. No as a child. No no no, I grew mm. up with family. In my career I grew alone. Oh alone. Yeah. Ah. No I'm saying in the industry now when you have more people. Yes, it's better it, it, it's better. It's better to move with a team. Yes, it's yeah. better to move yeah. with a team and that is where the money is also. Yes. Yes. Because there's the collabs, there's yeah. strength in numbers for sure. Ata pia ideas. Mm. You cannot I I could not always do bring about all the ideas. So sangine kilonzo na call auntie si tufanye hii. Ngoza na kuja na mbili kwa fikira tufanye hivi. So unapata mkikam pamoja then it looks and it looks wholesome well. because it looks like a beautiful family thank you there's there's one nini that is on tiktok that i love it's Which so one? it's so popular and mm. uh, and is talking to her us boyfriend <laughs> you husband. people know it you are, is it your boyfriend or your husband my husband he's your us husband alvan Hey. Yes. Who you US husband and I'm I love you. Ah, can you do the job? You? But you see <laughs> our mothers I don't know whether it's just mine mm. but you've not observed they don't like showing uh, affection publicly. Yes, they don't understand. Yeah, they don't. Love Actually is they hidden don't. in the bedroom under the sheets. Kabisa. Actually I hugged my dad I think in high school. Yeah. The first hug. Me too and everyone thought it was strange. Yeah. So now trying to show them love there is also a pastor who's called Pastor JJ and asemanga most mm. kikuyu men have a mark here mm. when they try to chezesha their wives wana gongangwa na elbow tigawa na niki So so that was the whole point of the video they don't like being shown affection because yeah. he was saying I'm going crazy without you na mulisa wewe unataka kugoroka huko tufanya nini hata hawajui words of affection mm. yeah but let me ask you is that something in real life have you ever seen your mother happy with No my mom husband. is my mom is flexible. Yeah. I've seen them go out and they have fun yeah. but they don't show it kabisa. Yeah. Yeah. Hakuna mapenzi. Hakuna eh. Kwanza you know let me tell you it's not even I don't even think it's just in the Kikuyu context. It's all it's all, all African. All African. Typical, yeah. Because unakuta mama boy. Mama uluch. <laughs> Akuna bib Mama her, Kalonzo Akuna and uh, she has an actual name she does because before she was Mama Nani she yeah. was an actual person Yes Kwa sasa ulishapata watoto ukasahaulika 
But such is life. It's good yes. to see them rekindle. I see my parents yeah. lately when I turn a jinao. You know. I like it. And it's fun. They're really trying. Mm. So it's good to see that. But now mm. they're really old people. But oh well, to not offend So you you you're doing the videos, you've created mm. this online family. Yeah. and Akinawa Jiro. Yes. And then now you're landing on radio. Mm-hmm. How did you get to Gukena? So when I was trending mm. In 2017, Radio Africa was now launching their first vernacular station. Mm. Started in Nyeri, but Nairobi came in in 2017. Okay. So, it's trending. They're looking for, you know, people who are making headlines and all that. Mm. So, I was given a call. Yeah. I was told, I hey, would like to come sample your voice. for Ooh. And I always wanted to be on radio. Okay. Guy, I loved radio. Yeah. So, when they called on a dear, that Yeah. Yeah. The problem with translate, direct translation is that it would say things as they It won't are. mean, <laughs> yeah, because people keep telling me, do them in English. I'm like, it won't be fine. It won't English. sound the same. Isn't it that you won't. said, do give up a I'm like, you didn't wash your hands. <laughs> okay. So I went. Uh-huh. And so they gave me a breakfast show with uh, Jogua Joroge. Yes. To co-host as a comedian, on yeah. air comedian. Uh-huh. He, Ikashi Dikana. Why? Chemistry. And then it's very difficult to hear female comedians. Yes. Most comedians are male. Yes. Plus, I think Jogu is also structured in a way that, um, I don't know, I've, I've only found one guy co-host with him. Uh-huh. So it was a bit hard for me to co-host okay. with him, yeah. Okay. So I did day one, I did day two, uh-huh. and then I went and told PC, I can't. Mm. And I thank God because I was genuine. Yeah. But I like to force. But now if you say you can't, so you'll be let go. No, he told me, no, what do we do? Mm. I told him, get me someone else. Yeah. And he told me, we really wanted you to do it on breakfast. Okay. Because breakfast and drive, that's where most of the ninis are. Prime for, for most radio stations. Mm. So, uh, so I was nearly quite worried also. Yeah. But then he told me, let, let me find you something else to do. So I went, uh, Nikangoja, Nikangoja, mm. thinking I'll be given another show. And I was told to do a segment. Okay. Uh, a very small segment for two minutes, bashing Kikuyu men, seeing how unromantic they are, seeing how they don't do this, they're supposed to do this, the way they dress, nini nini. And at first I felt like I'm any undermined sana. I'm a cool box. I'm a, yeah, because two minutes, man, come on. I have a lot of content. You Manipa. have hours and hours yes. of stories to tell us. But I did not know how long two minutes is on radio. Oh, yeah? Hey, two minutes is a lot of time. Wait, it's two minutes every day or two minutes every of day. one? Okay. Monday to Friday. Okay. Yeah. So, so every day you have to come with something new. Yes, fresh. Mm. It has to be fresh. Mm. So I was feeling like I'm a little kidogo, but I decided let me do it because I really want to be on radio. Okay. So Nikaanza, I was on probation for two months, mm. and then Ikashika. By the way, let me tell you, we did a road show in Nakuru, mm. and they were asking, who are you waiting to see? I, I did not know it would be that big. <laughs> and I did it for three years. Yeah. Three years, that small segment. Unatukana wanaume? Yeah, sikuwa na watukana, likuwa na wabash. Likuwa na wabash. Unajua wabash ni nini? Na wabia. Hakuna haja uvae trusa ya matiri na ribok. I'm so glad you're not my sister because I think we'd fight a lot. Miss Penny Chokos. No, Kwakazi mean him chok. But as a sister, I'd be so good. No. Aki. I don't believe it. Aki. <laughs> Ask my sister. You know me, I'm the last one already I'm used to being ah, bullied. So shouty wangui. Ah, no, but you know, you're not bullying on our siblings. Mini first born, since you shout. Kai. Yeah. Where? Deputy parents. I'm not to let her stress. Hey. So now you're, you're, you've been put this narrative, Auntie Jemima is a late, and you, the character Auntie Jemima is also the same on radio. Ye- not really, not quite. Yeah? Yeah. That's also the same character? It's totally different. Okay. Yeah. Let's, let's stick to here, you're bashing men for three yes. years. Yes. You see, when you started out, mm. one of the big first headlines was, Angry black woman yes. bashes Kiku men. Now she's now bashing men. Now she's bashing yes. men on the regular yes. for three whole Every years. Every day, yes, in the morning. And I can imagine that narrative when a lot of people see it, mm. they believe it to be true that that's how you live your life. Yes. How has that affected your dating life? Uh, has it really affected my dating life? No. Because people already are like, this is a tough lady. You know, Auntie Jemima is not, she's not a sasa mom. She's, wait. Yeah, you know, yeah, so already people are like, Ooh, this is just eh? I'd say because maybe the people I am with, the people I've dated, most of them have been there before, yeah, before the film. Ah, okay, okay, okay. So now, after it was still, they know me, they mm. know who I am, yeah. but then, but now I want to approach Nayo fear, 
Yes. Like, no, you, you can't do this. No, you, you can't do that. Yeah. Yeah. So, hey, it hasn't really affected my dating life much. But, but on, on the bashing men thing, mm-hmm. have you, well, like when you meet people on the random, mm. they do actually believe that that's the way you live your life, Amma? If I, I think the reason it hasn't affected me is because I did it in a very comical way. Ah, okay. So it was, uh, it was actually they had a, um, what, what is the relationship called? Bittersweet relationship. Mm. So they hate you, but they still love you. They still want to know listen. They actually asked me what happened to the segment when I meet them. Ah. But what it did is it gave them an impression of I am an old woman. Mm. So every time I'm seeing geeks, they are like, I see yeah, yeah. So they see they are surprised. And the member is just like. Well, age mates actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we are age mates. Mm. Even this is how she put on this persona, which is needed sometimes when you're yeah. doing comedy. Mm. So now we've done the three years mm. of this segment. Yes. Now you're doing a drive show. Now COVID came, mm. and I I felt like there was no growth. Mm. I felt like I'd stagnated with the segment. Yeah. I I told my PC I don't feel like now I'm growing. Mm. I need a bigger platform. Mm. So they told me so during COVID people were being laid off, mm. unfortunately, and so I told them. And I'm also, I feel like Nimefika. I can remember, but we can't let you go. So now we changed PCs, by the way. Okay. So we had another PC now. But we can't let you go. I feel like if a we PC lose you. A PC is a programs controller. Oh, I'm assuming people know. Because uh, you've you? been on radio. No, but the audience also. don't know. <laughs> Sorry. It's a programs controller. Uh-huh. Yes. Mm. So he told me, let me think about it. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll see what I can do. And then I'll talk to HR. I'll, I'll talk to the group PC. Mm. And then the HR, we see what you can do. And so I, I, I told them, so I, I did the, the, notifi- the, the notice because mm. I was on contract. With you, were, you were notifying that you're leaving? Yes, that I cannot continue with the, three, the two minute segment now. Hey. Yeah. Where but are you also going? You're leaving them, going where? Notifying them, do you appear our feet when I lose? Oh, we have a text and we have a boyfriend. You know, we've been through a lot. <laughs> now I feel like, you know. It's funny how. Mm. It's funny how. Yeah. We've been doing this for. And you're doing this and you're treating me like this. I love when I reply, okay. Ah, yeah. Mems. Mother Rao. Mems. Mother Rao. Mems. Anyway, focus, focus. Hey, HR wa meka chini. <coughs> so, nika, no, nili andikia PC, nika mpea, ni nini. So, I was later called, nika mm. mpewa, we'd like to try you on drive mm-hmm. as an, what is it called, freelance. Okay. Freelance uh, presenter. Kai, I was happy. Mm. So, mimi huyo mbio, the so small segment was being paid 20k, because it was 1,000 per segment. That's fair. That's fair. Mm. But people thought, ha, ah, uko kwa redi uko na pesa msi. Wee, wache nko mbio narrative. Gatho. Hi. Alafu kwanza, uharibu, kuharibu sana, your name is big out there. Yeah. Ah. Nandu hizi video zina trend kwenye socials. Wee. Wee. So now they called me in Kamshara Kapana Kidogo was happy. Mm. But they were so happy doing that drive show. Yeah. But now mostly we were doing it from home because of COVID. Yeah. So tukafanya, 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 tukafanya. And it was good. Nikambu aya tuendele, tuendele, tuendele. Mm. And that is how I found myself on drive. Mm. Then I okay, continue to join Malinta Kwambile Yungi. Ah panasema. So I did that 2020, 2021. Mm. I lost my baby. Oh, yeah. So I went for a break. Oh, okay. You actually left at that time? No, I didn't leave. Mm. I told them I need a month's break to okay. go and mourn. Mm-hmm. So when I was coming back, HR told me, come by the office. Yeah. And I got my employment letter. Wow. So I was so happy, man. Was you're so, so happy, but you're coming from a loss. Yes, I'm coming from it a loss. A, it was a... Yes. Uh, it was, yes, it was. I can imagine mm. for anyone. Yeah. It would be bittersweet. Mm. But you see, the thing about the thing about life, I usually say, in yes, Nandangai Viki. Yes. That's, that's the beauty. You know? Yeah. And, you know, seeing that story, because I remember mm. I, I had seen you heavy. Yeah. So, and of course, I, I know anyone who's heavy, everyone is expecting you to come back with good news. Mm-hmm. So, how do you handle, how did you handle those questions then? Because anyone who had seen you pregnant, see you without a child. How do you tell them that? Uh, Only a few didn't know because okay. I announced. Mm. And it was actually, I was advised by my best friend just make sure you post mm. because after it is going to make your healing more difficult with the questions Where is the baby? Where Ako, is the baby? Ako. 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 How is the baby doing? I remember I met a lady who used to serve me so well at Java. Mm. Of course, I think she's not Kikui, so she did not see. Yeah. And she asked me, so how's baby? And I told her, I lost her. And she was so sad. She was like, I shouldn't have asked. But I was yeah, like, because it's such know. a, it's cringe. It's like, yeah. Ah, and you it? know, it, it was also a trigger. Yes, of course. 
So I didn't get a lot of questions because people knew. Mm. I decided to let them know. Mm-hmm. So I went into healing and then I came back. Mm. So they were now expecting. They were actually so happy to see me back. Wow. So I thank God that I, I made that decision to announce. There's, there's something I like also about mm. radio and being in that space. Mm-hmm. Sometimes it, it kind of accelerates your healing because you're not in the darkness a lot. Thank you. Because me, I have buried people while on air a lot of times. Yeah. I, I, and of course, it's not comparison to anything you've gone mm. through. It's not even close. Mm. But then you, you've pushed to, uh, you have to go. Mm. Go job. Go yes. Ahead. Yes. But then it's also a little bit scary because labda huja heal. Are there moments when you are on air and you're like, fuck, today I feel like shit? Yes. The, there's also a, there was an audience there was a guy who actually commented and they told me there was a time i was back announcing shiroa gp song mm. that says i will come god says i'll come and i'll come back like i had come i'll bless you mm-hmm. and you feel like i had not left yeah and it was a song that was talking to me during the healing process <laughs> <laughs> i remember that guy said I, and i cried after that song sana <laughs> studio yeah it is not the first time i was mm. driving to work i was triggered and I'd cry in the parking, I love to compose and end on a chapter. And you have show. to and you have to be on air and you oh, have to be on air and you have to do the show. And you have to I have to be funny on yeah, air, you yeah. know. But I also I have a very good present. <laughs> <laughs> you have a good co host. Yes. He's a, he's my friend. So you having this moment, does HR let you be yourself? Yes, she does. And I remember Kai. even I'm sorry for me. It's okay. No, because nakumbuka. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. I don't know if I feel it. It's it's really, it's painful to see you having to work mm-hmm. and still, and then people can see your pain. Yes, yes. Actually, you know, when someone can hear your pain on radio, yeah, you know, yeah. Our HR is so good. Mm-hmm. I remember even when I conceived. And and we knew the re- we knew what what was really. Did you find out what? Ha- oh, sorry, okay, let's just go. When HR knew, you could the see. HR at Radio Africa is so good. God yeah. bless you, Jemima, because she kept. At and it was Jemima. And it was Jemima. <laughs> <laughs> okay. When I conceived Makeba, mm. she kept asking me whether I'm okay, and she told me anytime you need to go home, just let me know, go rest. Then when, because <clears throat> I had gestational diabetes. Mm, that's so what we, took your child. I remember. We we highly rem- uh, yeah think that was the reason because I didn't do the tests in time, mm. the gestational diabetes in time, mm. and again there is a lot of uh, we do not have information. What is gestational diabetes in the first? Thank you for like asking that. that. Mm. So when you when you conceive, mm. um, it's purely not your. It's not yours. It is the hormones produced in the placenta mm. that interfere with the effectiveness of insulin. Imagine. Okay. So insulin is supposed to regulate your blood sugars. Mm. But when you're pregnant, the hormones that are produced, they inhibit the way it is absorbed into your blood cells. Mm. So the insulin, so your sukari is, is up there. High. Is very high. So you have to regulate. I've you had to regulate. some women get diabetes after yes. you know, pregnancy. <clears throat> mm. So during the, my pregnancy, so my first child was called Makena. Mm. So during my pregnancy with Makena, mm. I took a lot of sugars. Because, ah. um, you know, they tell you, kitaka kusikia mtoto wa kimove, saingine kata kumove, una, mm. una spike na kasukari, mm. and I move a lot. Yeah. And since I did not know that I have, I get gestational diabetes, mm. I take a lot of sugar. And then I was craving. Yeah. So I do cake every day, na kumbuka nilikuwa na kula salted caramel. Alafu nilikuwa na kunyo Fanta orange every day before Girl. show. Every day before show. Yeah. Nilikuwa pia nani, you know, so I, we, we highly suspect that that was the reason. Because again, how it affects you and your baby is you either give birth to a very big baby mm-hmm. because you, it's like you're feeding the baby on junk. On sugar. On sugar. Remember yeah. the hormones? Mm. Your sugar levels are high. Mm. Or you give birth to a baby and they die because they were used to taking a lot of sugar. And, and then the, when they leave. When they leave, there is now, it's like withdrawals when you're an addict Way. in something. Or the baby dies in the womb, as my, as, as my case. Okay. Now my baby was too big because she was three kgs at thirty four weeks. Mm. So there is no movement in the stomach. There is no space. Nini nini. So unfortunately, I lost her. Yeah. And so the other thing with gestational diabetes is mm-hmm. the moment you give birth, mm-hmm. in Aisha, in Apotea. Oh yeah. So when we did okay, the that's, tests after. That's who. Yeah, that's yeah. who. Yeah. But when we did the tests after, mm. we could not tell because Hakuna. Uh, so it kind of you it gives it gives you a cogmo. It's like how did we get here? Yes. Inakupe a lot of maswali. Sana. 
Where? Sana, sana. So I remember now when I conceived, I went to hospital. Now we did every, almost every week I was in hospital. Yeah. Because you need... Because now you want to... Hey, you need to. Were you panicking with the second pregnancy? I, I was. It was the hard... Carrying a rainbow baby is actually the hardest journey any woman would go through. Because you really don't want to go through it one more time. You always... That trauma, you always think... You're always thinking this one will die. You know? You're always worried constantly. Mm. And she used to kick a lot. Mm-hmm. And I keep saying... She, it was like she was assuring me. I'm still mm-hmm. here. Niko sao, mami. Kwanza kuna siku haku kick. Kai. He. Prr. Hosi. Then unafika tu hosi anaanza ku kick. So hata daktari wanaweza kukiria. Wewe ni drama queen. <laughs> no ni kachokozi. Lakini wanaelewa. Yeah. Wanaela. So we did the test. You're supposed to do it at 24 exactly at 24 weeks. Mm. And then yeah, I I had the and I was in denial. Also when I conceived I was in denial that you have another child. That I have another. I want mm. but I still don't want. Because you know loss is such a it's such a thief of joy yes because it it, it kind of even makes you sometimes feels like i'm i'm not deserving yes. thank you alafu mnangoja afike 34 mnamchukua kwa nini kwa nini you know no offense to people who also lose at 20 or less because even even children grow and still die they do you know they do life is really you can't really always it's, it's mysterious it's mysterious it's very mysterious you take it and you enjoy what yes, you have yes you do so now you have makeba now i have makeba <laughs> and she's guy she's gorgeous yeah. this one i say i'll marry her. I've, I've seen i've uh-huh. seen makeba uku unaona uku kachavi ananipea kompi ni jahe <laughs> so those people who talk bad about jahe <laughs> wanasema zuzwe hardware mm Take Me back your Jahe. Jahe is good. I remember during your loss of your child, a lot yeah. of controversy came out. Yeah. And you know the, 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 the it's so weird how mm-hmm. humans behave. Mm-hmm. The one who is the victim is the one who's thrown stones. Yes. Mwenyamba ya meumia. Eh. And there was like she shouldn't have done a baby shower, even that photo shoot. Actually, I didn't do a baby shower. I did a baby bum shoot. Yeah. Yeah. Mwa photo shoot. You showed off your bum. Watu mimba yako ndio mana mtoto amenda. Na attract macho baya. Machubaya. Machubaya yenye haifiki lihana. Huyo <laughs> <laughs> anasasa kila siku. Inafikia tu sisi. <laughs> Come. On. How did you take it? You know the problem with you you are comedian. <laughs> We're talking about something harsh and you're making me laugh. Could it, you it, stop it? that? I felt I felt it was very stingy. I felt bad. Mm. I I really felt bad. I wished you know the way you wish people you just sympathize with you at this moment. It's not the time to tell me that. Because if I knew that that was what would happen, I wouldn't have done that, yeah. you know. And it's a lot of ignorance. And I think I'm actually coming up with a campaign that we need to we need to allow people to be, yeah. especially stop pregnant. victim blaming. Yes, Please. stop victim blaming. And when it comes to childbirth, mm. we need people to understand that that pregnancy is a ticking time bomb. Anything can happen. Around the same time I lost my baby, there was a journalist who passed on. Oh damn. After she did her baby shower that weekend and then she died on Monday. She, was the baby oh. born? Yes, the baby was born. She died while giving birth. We... So there was a lot of now that noise that, that and I was like, man, come. Because it's a lot of death. There's a there's a mother Everyone who's lost will a child die. and there's a child who's been left yes. without a mother. Yes. And funny, not funny, but coincidences are people in playing almost in the same industry. Yes. Because she's a journalist, you're, you're a yes. presenter. So it's like, is this something that these women are doing? Because there's that, there's that as well. So now they were coining it to the baby shower. Because mm. I'm like, baby shower. And I'm like, come on. So people ignore preeclampsia. Mm. People ignore that there are women who have to be stitched the whole nine months mm. for them to carry a baby to term. Stitched where? Kwa, kwa uterus. There are women who can't hold. My own mom lost a baby. I did not know. Then again, people don't talk about it now. Because now I'm trying to normalize. Wait. Yes. I have a friend who has been bedridden all her three babies. Because she has to be stitched. I cannot remember the name of that stitch. Lazima ashonwe. Akai for nine months. Asikuwe na movement mingi. Ndiyo nini yake hold. My own mom yake wachilia kidogo. She, your mom had lost end. a child. Yes. She lost her baby. But she never me. mentioned it to you. Thank you. So my dad was telling me that day in the hospital mm. that there was a baby before you. Mm. And I cried because I did not know. People now it's like a taboo. They make it look like that. Like yes. you know, like, mm. family. 
Uh, but you see, there are different reasons. Mine is gestational no, diabetes. No, but people act like death is not to a family. Everyone dies. That's the thing about human beings. And that's the thing. The clock is ticking. My baby's death mm. made me accept death. Mm. I used to fear death a lot. Yeah. But it made me accept death and it made me look at death. It's just that for some of us, it will come sooner. Mm. And for some of us, it will come later. You know, mm. but we need to also normalize miscarriage. Talking about miscarriages, yes, 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 still birds, mm. because I'll, the number of women who reached out to me after that, ah, wingy. I, 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 you, you thought this fight, you were fighting it alone. Alone. Luckily, I had not. I have a friend who had gone through loss. She's mm. actually the first person I called. Mm. And I told her, "You're the only one I want to see right she's, now." She's, she's, she lost a child. She lost a child. Mm. So she's the one who came because I felt like she's the only one who'll understand who me it, yeah. at that point. Mm. So we need people to understand that anything can happen when a woman is giving birth. Anything. It's a it's, risky affair. It's a risk. It's a very risky affair. Mm. So I love we need to stop victim I love a man asks you, "What do you bring to the table?" Yes. My literal womb, G guy. <laughs> Can you imagine going through <laughs> Neza <neighbor>? ku <laughs> make it? Ama mtu yako se kumi. Ama sisi wa wili yeah. se ku make it. At the 50-50. You know, ama nipate mtoto. It's a lot. It's And it's quite unfair that people have to ask that. Mm. Now, of course, in, in all fairness, yeah. no one gets children by themselves. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. How was it for you with your your spouse? Um, it was How hard. did he take it? No, I think even men mo- need more grace because he's trying to be there for you. Mm. And you can also tell he's struggling because mm, even he he was like, he, he was lost. expecting yes he has let us to home eh. mm. so I remember we talk sometimes he'd really break down he'd oh, really no. cry mm. and uh, it was a lot it was a lot for the both of us mm-hmm. but we thank God that we've been able to go through it well mm. I did therapy I still do therapy mm. and I mean one thing that made me feel a bit okay mm-hmm. was people sharing their stories mm. and especially women in media who mm. called me mm. privately to tell me I went through loss mama mm. but tell you what I got another one and I got more so that alone made me feel better yes knowing that other people are going through relate when people relate with you when you relate with someone else it's easier yeah yeah and also therapy helped me it's something wow. I had normalized before because mm-hmm. of a lot of trolling so even when I got I, I suffered the loss I knew I needed to go th- for therapy yeah yeah that's really good mm, thank so you. now you guys decided ah let's try another one yes number two number two after three months <laughs> <laughs> after three months you did number two yes hey uh, what zim was up you know you and rihanna same was up. joking but see mm. when the first six months after you give birth mm. your birth hormones are really active i hear that yes. i hear that yeah so, so if, if you want if it too not a kind of family planning yeah <laughs> so lucky for us she came immediately yes and um mm. like i told you it wasn't easy mm. but i was really looking forward to the cry because the other one i pushed her still baby so she didn't cry mm. so i was really looking forward to this cry. oh love my mother tells me the moment you give birth mm. in kiku we say uli uli hosoka you just uli kavizuri because there was anxiety or swollen i was no, black yeah after I gave five minutes later, my mom is seeing me. She's like, you look no. good. Ume homuka. Ume hosoka. Unaka visu. Hosoka, mina yise ma homuka. Hosoka. She yeah. cried, I cried. Man. Wow. Ah, it was nice. It's still nice. Yeah. I still look at her and marvel. I'm like, oh, she's So, tunongeza wa gapo ingine? Just one more. Apana. Ha. Football team. Unajua mwezi ya kwanza hurari. Like, okay, not all kids are not all the same. Mm-hmm. But way first two months, mm-hmm. uh, I cried. She cried, I cried. Well, you were crying together. Uh, colleague, motherhood. Mm. Ah, it's not easy. It's Again. A, it's a whole other job. You have another career. <laughs> yes, I have another career. <laughs> I'm tired so so much. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Was it a tough family. one? It is still tough. I'm still learning. Yeah. But it's fun. Yeah. And I enjoy. Mm-hmm. And it's rewarding. That's really good. It's yeah. it's it's good to I feel like it's redeeming. It is it's, actually it's a, it is. It's a redemption. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's redeeming, and you know, and it's very graceful that you're able to do it because it's it's also not granted that someone could get it. Mm-hmm. You can yeah, get true. it or not mm-hmm. get it. Oh yeah, I have so many who are also struggling to conceive again mm-hmm. after loss, and I Where? tell them, oh, "Gosh, I send you grace, mm-hmm. and I pray that you get your reward soon." Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. And it can come, let me tell you, I, I believe it can come in many other ways. It could come with work and things like that. Yes. That people who find joy in different yes. things. True. And sometimes because of the pressure, especially for women to have families, mm. yes. that's why there's that as well. Yes, is that, that pressure. Kwanza, that pressure is, is, is no good. Imagine mm. you're healing, no kuna pressure, oku, mother in laws, you anasema nini, what you anasema nini. Oh, and to you, if you're in the public light also. Mother in law? Eh. Hey. Did you say anything? No. Oh, she was kind enough. Yeah. You're but lucky. Oh, ah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They're busy mm. doing the Lord's work. <laughs> That's what we want. Yeah. <laughs> so mm. now at least you're able to go to work and also do that. Yeah. I find that refreshing, of course. Mm. But I question now, mm-hmm. being, you know, trying to to manage your time mm-hmm. with being a mother yeah. and also panicking that, oh, you want to keep them alive for yeah. sure. Yeah. How are you handling that? Because... There, how are your hours? How is the day of Jemima? Now, I thank God because I have a job that does not require me to be there f- 8 to 5. Yes. I work from 3 to 7. Mm. And my job is 15 minutes away mm-hmm. from home. Yeah. So I'm able to be with my child until noon. Okay. From when she wakes up until noon. Mm. And then I, so I breastfeed, I, I express, and I leave her with my nanny. Mm. And then by 7.15, I'm in the house. Yeah. So again, now we stay with her until uh, she sleeps in Bakatunamka. Mm. I haven't resumed, if you've noticed, I haven't resumed fully on yes. social media. Yeah. I'm waiting for her to start feeding. Okay. So once I win her and mm. she's doing it very well, mm. July to Narudi na Kishindo. Narudi na Kishindo. Yes, to Narudi gile, gile. sana. <laughs> na ubaya. <laughs> Kakikula tu uji, kakikunyo uji kakwe sawa. Mm. Ah, Narudi. Very fast. Yes, sababu kuna pesa imelala mahali YouTube. Okay. Yangu. Hey. Very fast. Mm, very fast. You're earning best. well on YouTube. Yes. How much are you earning? Tell us. Good tell us. money. Tell us. No, I'll know. You, me, I'll say this. The internet said you're worth two million shillings. Two million. Imagine. Guy. Said net worth. But I think that was review maybe in 2020 or 2020. Yes. Hey, them and them. <laughs> wow, no, wow. You're not worth two million. Ah, you can't read us to. Nini. What you're doing. No, I'm not doing. You know, that's my funny. I said, okay. No. Wajue ya kwamba. Wewe hebu nyamwazia hapo. Umesikia kiare ukaogopa? Kai. Sasa hata kucha naogopa kurudisha. They say they tax more. Ai. Hizi zinaya katika kuonesha mali. Utakatwa human hair town kama uja. Kama umefile nil. Isi human hair. Oh. My hair. I'm Indian on the inside. Ni semi. It's Indian on the inside. Hey. And then outside I am It's African. Ya kikuli. Ndiyo manu usunon hapa inaka kama ya. Inaka kama wewe. Unaona? Eh. Unaona? Mm. So don't lie. But we make good money. We make money that is enough. Yeah? Yeah. You're able to survive for social media. I'm able media. to sustain my team and myself. Which is good. Social media, yeah. You know, Plus endorsements. considering kuna wakati ulikuwa unaenda theater to theater. <laughs> Unazurusha county to county. Mm. Ukisoma set book. So set book unajaza kwa kichwa. Na sasa na ukikosa line unakatwa pesa eh? na ni pesa hata hulipwi. Wait. If you what, the time you're mm. doing the set book. Yeah. When you're on stage if you do your your line wrong or if you miss kuingia stage time yako. Mm. Yeah. Kuna mahali una sign mnaambiana hivyo. Why? I don't know. But you're human, utasahau. Kwa nina sahau na unataka kuripol? Apana. Hey. That's Kwanza not fair. Kwanza ukimis kuingia, mm. time yako. Mm. Ah, ah. It was bad. But anyway, sasa siku lipo, hata siku enjoy yo kazi. Either way. Hey. Ni sawa tu. Ni sawa tu. <laughs> Chai yende. You know, there's something I experience, and I don't know if it's similar to you. That's why mm. I like sitting with sometimes people who are in the same industry yeah. as me. Yeah. I've been on radio, and I remember I explained that you you have to go through pain on radio. Yes. Like, umetoka mashida zako, lakini, good morning, people. Oh, you have to. smile. You have to. What are the struggles of relating with co-hosts? Because you said at the beginning when you were starting with, with the breakfast host, yeah. you you were struggling with chemistry, which yes. is, it happens. Mm. That's why even in some some romantic relationships don't work. It doesn't there's no work. chemistry. Yeah. Yeah. How is it working with a co-host now? Because doing the solo two minutes for three years, yeah. That was easy, yeah. yeah. How is it now? It's great. Mm-hmm. He, like I told you, he's my friend. Mm. He's the first friend I made at Radio Africa. Yeah. So we are able to talk. Mm. When I feel like he's not doing it well, mm. when I feel like I'm not feeling the show, we yeah. sit down. I tell him I'm not feeling this. Then he also tells me, I feel like right now you're not okay. Yeah. Do you need a break? So he's a good friend. And I think the friendship basis has really helped us yeah. a lot. 
it's, it has it has carved the narrative it of has, how you guys it work has, together. Yes. Mm. I it's not it's not a gift that everyone has. Sometimes mm. people struggle. I've seen a lot of shows mm. break and Isha because of a co-host chemistry. Yeah, and yeah. actually before I came back after loss, mm. he told the audience she's coming back, and I don't want you guys to wear wear her on phone. Mm. When you call Nini, so I, I respected that That's of him. That's nice. I really felt nice. Mm. Ali wambi ya kikuja tunamtri tu vizuri. Tunarudi kwa jokes. Yes. Because after shina maithori. Eh, hey, after shina tukilia. Mm. And it was so, it was so kind of him. Yeah. I really felt nice when I came back. That's so it was, nice. oh, we missed you, Nini, Nini. Tuka chapa kazi. Vile inafa. Vile inafa. I know there are always, there are always um, speculations yeah. and conversations. Yeah. And where you work has had a lot of, you know, speculations of how work happens at Radio mm-hmm. Africa. Mm-hmm. And of course, with all due respect, it's, mm-hmm. a, it's a very well-respected institution and True. corporate. True. Um, sometimes I, I understand that we want to have our career and we want to have our personality go through. Mm-hmm. And I know, how do you balance that? Because sometimes corporates, and I remember there's a time there was a memo that came out from Royal Media. Mm-hmm. And it kind of told their presenters to behave a little bit differently. Eh, because babu anona wakio ko inje kwenye social media they're doing the most. Mm-hmm. They're like, are you giving the same energy on air? Mm-hmm. It's a concern, and you know, you yeah, you were pivoted into into your craft through social media. social media. Yeah, Auntie Jemima was born mm-hmm. on YouTube. Mm-hmm. How does that translate on air? Because mm-hmm. babu. Mwenye wamekupea kazi yako ehe unanipea ile vali unapea na kule mbak mm, mm. ni swali we i've not had any issue with my employer about that mm. but then again i say i always thank god for the team i work with mm. because the okena team is a team that is dedicated mm. i kid you not mm. when a show has no endorsement mm. when 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 a show does not have any client we always sit down as a team. Mm-hmm. We always do that. And I also thank our PC because he's also our cheerleader. Okay. And he tells us, hey, wase, kuna vile hii mwezi, naona tukichimba, ama kuna vile hii mwezi, naona kukienda hivi. Yeah. So we always do it. It's, it's, a, it's a collective uh, responsibility. Mm. So, and I think that's not why we've, ha- we've not had any issues. Yeah. So we do it collectively. Even on our show, mm. the main, the presenter, his mm. name is Wagura. Mm. Hey, so when there is no client, mm. kuna kwa sababu kuna wiki unapata kuko chini kiasi, yeah. unapata kuna client and therefore mwingine anakuja. Mm. But when there is no pre- he he even tells me he does not feel good doing a show without a client yeah. on air. But then with the economy sometimes you take what you can get. Yeah, especially but I, after elections. I like I like that team effort. Me too and I'm so grateful. It 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 doesn't appear all the time. It doesn't. But now let's yeah. translate it back to something because I've just remembered something mm-hmm. picked up. Mm-hmm. There's a time you were giving the narrative of the woman bashing the men yeah. in a comical manner. Yeah. Right now where we are, mm-hmm. you've seen how relationships are turning out. Mm-hmm. When you run around kuradi, <laughs> there are others who, you know, Samido and the girlfriend mm-hmm. and the wife. Mm-hmm. I call them girlfriend and I, I think it's, a, it's a, Samido and the collective. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> you know, and yeah. then there's other people that you're seeing very angry about how marriages are working. Mm. Others are like this. Mm. Where is the discourse? Because I know you guys have those conversations mm. on air a lot. No, I'm not going to be a I'm not going to be a person. I'm not going to be a person. I feel like a lot of Kenyans are angry at each other for some reason. Very angry, that's correct. Mm. Then with the onset of social media, mm there has been another marriage has been romanticized so much it's not romantic it's romantic marriage is work relationships are work you so sorry kwa ndoshinanga kazi eh unajua kukana mtu mmoja hizo miaka zote is not easy are you saying from experience <laughs> i'm not, i'm actually not saying from experience mm. But I think there's, uh, there's, a, there's an image that has been created mm. and people are getting into it for the wrong reasons. Mm. And then when they get in, they discover it's like this, it's like that. And the other reason is people got married so early mm. such that when now they are knowing kujijua vizuri, they're like, shit, I shouldn't have done this. See, I shouldn't you have been with this guy. Yeah. 
you know because Zulu, his name is because Zulu. Eh. Zulu, not because Zulu. There's Zulu. There's a Zulu who talks about relationships. Because Zulu. It's because Zulu. Yes, not the writes. writer. Not oh, the not writer. The, oh, okay. There's another guy who talks about Benjamin. Benjamin Zulu. Yes, yes. There was something he used to say, and I didn't see which could serious until I sat down with a psychologist. Mm. And Zulu says you should not get married until you're 26, 27 onwards. We? Yes. So I sat down with a psychologist and he, he said that the human part of the brain, the pre, it's called the prefrontal cortex. Mm. The pas- I cannot remember the, the correct name. Eo cortex. Uh, mm. The one that is uh, responsible for sound decision making mm. in humans, mm. the one that separates you from animals, it only matures when you're 26. Where? So that explains why if you have friends who got married immediately after high school, mm. when they are 30, they are regretting. Aki, what are you telling me? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. And I think it is... So, so when I sat down with that guy, that's what I was like, but Zulu says that all the time and I didn't take him seriously. It's like, yes, that's how it's supposed to be. So him, he encourages people to wait until you're 26, 27. To settle down. To decide whether you want to. Because again, it's not a must. But then you see the problem also you say that mm. uh, you say that in a home where unasema ukiwa kwa nyumba na watoto wako I am not married yet but you are okay yes so yeah what are you yes what are you i have a child well you didn't have children alone marriage is something i'd want to approach when i am i i, I always say i'm not ready so how does the father of the child see the child when he wants Oh, you guys are just, you just had children and now you're friends? Yes. And the other thing is communication. I don't understand how that works. That you, you, you have, have to kids be with honest. when you're not with them. You have to be honest about what you want. So you, but you wanted a relationship yourself in a, in a unique world. In yes. an ultimate Jemima world, you wanted a relationship. I did not want a defined relationship. So you never want to get married? I did not say I never want to get married. You don't want to get married now? Now, yes. That's the correct word. Okay. Thank you. Not now. Can we check with you next week? No. <laughs> <laughs> not next week. What is this that's making you fear marriage this much? It's not You've fear. already achieved a lot. You're a great presenter. You have a great social media. God has blessed you with Makeba now. Yeah. yeah. What, what else? It's not fear. It's mm. not fear. Mm. It's, and marriage is not a requirement. And, no, uh, well, no, naga kwa bank, it's a requirement. Ina kwa kapale, male, uh, female, married, single, it's a requirement. Umeka sigo. Ama not married. Uteka sigo baka. Uteka, eh, baka ili skutataka ama taishi hivo milele. Why are you afraid to take that leap? It's, I'm not afraid. Mm. I just think, I just say there, there, there are a few things, there are a lot of things or a few things that I need to do before I probably decide I want it or not. What happens if you never get those things? I will get them. I mean, For the sure you will. Yeah. But you see the thing about timelines is you mm. never know when you'll get them. It's okay. If I don't get them and if I don't also get married, I'll be okay. I am open. Okay. And I like being very open even with the people I meet. Mm. And I tell them, look, if you're looking for a marriage partner, mm. I'm not ready to get married yet. Mm. So can we, if you're okay with that. You want your freedom. Yes. To do what? To do things my way. Like what? Like stay where I want to stay. And what? And make decisions the way I want be without being stopped. Let me tell you, Kat. Uh. If you got married today. Yeah. And you have children today. Mm. You will not wake up and decide to go somewhere else. Do a gig somewhere else. Immediately. Why? Like in Surajom, do my gigs. Thank you. <laughs> you have a, a, a husband. Mm. To think about before you go mm. and you have a child and another child maybe and another child maybe to think about mm. we have to account for all this people. you have to account for all that you know you just want to account for makeba for now yes for now aki because i feel like if i it might stop me from doing a lot of things as i, I believe that when you get married as a woman and you've not achieved some things you wanted to achieve mm-hmm. it might and it will slow you down yeah it will slow you down you, marriage will slow you down. Yes. I, I have a different narrative. Okay. Let me give you examples. Okay. And I use them because I, I look at them and I'm like, amazing. Okay. Tabitha Keroche. Yeah. 
one of the reasons she and I I, do, I hope she could say this one day mm -hmm. one of the reasons why she pivoted very well mm -hmm. is because of the chairman Mr. Keroche yes. he's really propelled her to be the CEO and mm -hmm. she's running things yes. there's a lady who was uh, Madame Girishi from Kirenyaga yes. I understand she's supported very well with her husband mm -hmm. Julie Gishoro mm -hmm. the, the former mm -hmm. uh, citizen journalist mm -hmm. a, a powerhouse mm -hmm. a, so CEO former yeah. Julie Gishoro the powerhouse yes full stop. yes <laughs> She's really supported by her husband, mm. something that she comments. Mm. There's something that comes with being, you know, yes, men get a lot with having a wife, mm. but also some women get a lot with having a good husband. A it good really husband. propels. Yeah. Unona. Mm. I've given you three narratives yeah. that exist. Yeah. Example A, B, and C. Mm. I will question that with, yes, and I agree. Mm. Age. Because mm. you could get a good husband back then. Ah. But now, in the Tricky. year 2023. Tricky sana. Tricky sana. Ii, ii, sampuli iko. Tricky sana. Wako na shida gani? What is your problem? Wako different sana. Niki yewe kidi. Eh? What have they done? Wako tu. Wai wacha. Wako tu. Sema wako nini. I am, mi niki decide kuenda na enda. So, sitaki sasa tena kuliza. Ama kulizwa. Eh. Uh. Eh, alafu tena sitaki kulea mtu mkubwa mm. wacha tupatane hapo mbele okay yeah no offense mm -hmm. but wacha tupatane hapo mbele it might or it might not come <laughs> the... and i've seen what my friends have gone through yeah. there's also that but you see that's their narrative i know it's, yours would be very different sometimes it's good to learn from other people's there's mistakes there's that but you know you might not live long enough to make the same mistakes yourself okay yeah okay uh, you know me I, I like seeing the good in things i know mm. but please try and see also the other side the bad things in yes. things <laughs> yes the bad things in things and also having gone through a lot in previous relationships i was like i don't think that's a path i want to take right now mm. let me wait let mm. me do things what let me do what i need to do now mm -hmm. and i thank i meet people who are very understanding along yeah. the way yeah yeah at least they're able to understand your journey yes like, you know what but i, I communicate mm. And I tell them, this Have is you, what I want. What has been your longest relationship with Baba Makeba, let's say? Is that your longest relationship? No. How long have I've you had, and Baba Makeba been together? I've had, the longest relationship I've had mm. was seven years. Okay. Yes. Seven years? Yes. Mkivanya? A whole medical course. <laughs> Toki date. Toki subwada. Muko talking stage. Bado mkuwa talking stage. See, that's the thing. Mkuwa pali kwa stage, mlangoja matatu ikuji. Mm. Na mpandi ii matatu. Na mpandi ii matatu. How did it end? It ended. How it's... did it end? Who ended it? Was it you or was it the other It was both of us. Kuna kitu kama hiyo. For real. Not just because we are not with you. No, no, no it was Jua both of us. Jua tukwa kwa hiyo to bed. Tuli kachi ni tukasema, ah, ah, haifanyi, haiendi. In a struggle. But, yeah. Wow. Tukamariza. It's good to see you, you know, um, objective with how you want your life Thank to you. go. Thank you. And it's something that scares a lot of men as well. It's yeah. very scary to hear a woman just say, mm. I need mm. to focus on my career mm. and I want things like this. My mom says, mm. uh, I say, I want to do you think that's part of the reason as to why maybe you have not i think it is and it's also because i, I told you i'm super introverted mm. i really love my space mm. and you see we, we joke a lot even with people on social media and i tell them the maximum i can stay with someone in my house not now now that i have a nanny and it has taken a whole lot of adjusting because I've stayed alone for a very long time. Mm. And I was telling them, the, long, the longest I can stay with someone of the opposite sex is probably three, four days. After that, I'm feeling like you're in my space. To end a kidogo to patane. That's why you, oh, boyfriend, you a US can work very well. Yes. <laughs> but, <laughs> but a very good narrative. Right? <laughs> yes. Barely around, mm. pops in and pops out. Yeah, and you know, <clears throat> absence makes the heart grow fonder. Why? <laughs> 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 yeah so, so we're looking at uh auntie jemima on youtube we're seeing you on gukena yeah what is the next step now uh the next thing there was a show I was supposed to stage last year mm. a stand-up show mm -hmm. so i'm now going fully into stand-up nice yes very so, soon details coming yeah and then auntie jemima on tour oh yes amen then also now resume on social media mm. continue with the comedies and uh a, 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 a talk show 
Nice. Yeah. That that that, that so is I'm something I, I really want to see. It's coming. I've started doing something called I think it will be Tom one Kona. of the funniest things I've seen. Aki. Oh, I, can't do wait. I cannot wait. <laughs> ah. We started doing a, talk, a, a, a show called Tokona. Mm. But that was more Tokona the means... Kuonga tu, tunongea. Tokona. Tokona. Oh, Tokona. Yeah. Umeshikanisha. Just saongea kikuyu sana mbaka niko Tokona. Tokona. Kama ile stage ya, ya Jogoro, inaitua Chachami. Mm. And people always thought it's called Chachami. Nina ma inaitua? Chachami. What if you're in Chachami? <laughs> I am one of those people. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so those are the things. And then com- uh, there is also a campaign mm-hmm. around um, mental health and with mothers. Yeah. That's also in the tuna- in Akuja. I like that. Yeah. It's so courageous to see Thank you. more people even talk about therapy. I think you're, you're probably even the fifth person who's been on this ah, seat and talked about therapy. Nice. It's, it's not something people talk about. People yes. are afraid. We because therapy... therapy mm. Neado mena besha, yes. neado mm, agoroki. It must e. be someone who has a problem. It must be with, for someone who's losing it kabisa. That's what people believe. But is that the case? No. Okay. It's actually, it should be for everyone. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it's not expensive. It's not. It is expensive. And we need to, talk, to also talk about that. Mm. So just as the, day, the other day I was finding out that NHF covers some. Mm. I'm yet to get all the info. Mm. But some insurance companies also cover mental Therapy. health. Yes. Mm. It's mm. it's actually expensive, but but then I say, mm-hmm. um, it's expensive because it's more of restoring someone's sanity. Mm. It, it's not a it's not an easy thing. Yeah, yeah, but it should be affordable. It should be affordable because it is what is holding the human, the brain, the brain. It needs to be seen. Yeah. And of course, it's stories like that that warm your heart, bring tears to your eyes, and of course, bring you the most joy. Remember to stream us on Spotify, Boomplay, YouTube, Facebook, and of course, Instagram. This is the POV Podcast.